Greetings, family. On April 30th, 2016, I posted this um, to my Facebook timeline. The Holy Spirit had given me a vision that someone in hip hop would pass within seven days. I wasn't given the name of the person and I wasn't given their connection to hip hop. I was simply told to post it on my timeline. And so I did. I did after much trepidation. I actually was very hesitant. One, because I, I had to be sure it was a message of the Holy Spirit and not of self or of the enemy. But also because I didn't have faith that it would come to pass. I posted it and I waited and every day I went to uh, the news media to see what deaths had been reported. And I was even sent erroneously a, uh, a fake TMZ link stating that um, C. Murder had died, which turned out to not be true. But I posted it because I thought, well, here's confirmation so people won't call me a liar. Because a lot of people were calling me a liar and saying that I, um, I was using God's name in vain. And then I found out that the story about C. Murder was fake. So I pulled it down and I decided I would just wait upon the Lord. Now, what made this become factual were two things. The picture, as you can see in the post that I was led to use, is a picture of a young Suge Knight pouring out liquor to the ground, which is what um, is done when someone passes away in the hood. Usually the liquor is poured out in memory of the homie. And why I was led to use Suge's picture I didn't know, but I had went through many pictures. And so in the back of my mind, I was thinking, wow, I wonder if this means that this is the person who will pass away. Nonetheless, today I woke up to the news that Ephemi had died last night. Um, her, she was born Alice Faye Williams in 1947. And, um, she was a businesswoman, she was a philanthropist, and a political activist, and a Black Panther. Um, but she's most known as the mother of, of the late rapper Tupac Shakur. Now, it's interesting because I actually have a connection to Afeni. For those of you who have the movie Thug Immortal, which was made in 1997, shortly after Tupac died, I am listed in the credits as the legal consultant and also as um, one of the people who was behind the making of the movie. And it has my company name, Great Scott Management, at the time. And it also has my name, Rebecca Scott, as the legal consultant. So my connection to Afeni is that she tried to stop the movie from being made. And I had to sit down with her attorneys, which at the time were Fishbein and Bedillo here in New York. And um, they gave me every reason why my movie couldn't get made. But the fact of the matter was that it was under public domain and I could make it and I did make it. And I should say that the movie, the concept and the movie um, was written by George Tan. He was the director and the writer and I was simply the consultant. But um, we did put the movie out and um, it was much, you know, to her dismay, but there was nothing she could do about it. And at the time of her death, which I understand uh, happened late last night on Monday, um, May 2nd is actually when she died. Um, I understand that she was in the process of um, completing a movie about her son called All Eyes on Me. And um, so this was something, you know, that I'm sure will still come out. Um, so this is, um, I, I know you're going to be very curious about this, but I can only tell you that my feeling 
about why this message was given to me is because we are now in a Baal worshiping generation where many have put the celebrities up as idols and it goes directly against the first commandment which is place no other gods before me and many of you people as indicated by um, the recent passing of prince there are so many of you idolaters who worship this man even in death some of you even more so in death i cannot tell you how many threats i've gotten regarding my prince video and how many times i get cursed out when i mention something about a particular celebrity because there are so many of you who are just so enamored of these people that you have actually made them your gods there are so many of you who you don't even know these people they don't even know that you exist but you are willing to die to save their name you are willing to kill someone who goes against them you the vile things that come out of your mouths in regards to your idols the lord wants your worship he is the most high it is by the grace of a mighty and merciful god that you even have the breath to wake up and to be able to be on the internet to look at youtube yet and still so many have forgotten the lord so many don't acknowledge of him acknowledge him so many of you don't pray did you pray today did you thank god for opening your eyes did you thank him for whatever it is that you ate today even if it was a slice of bread there's someone in the world that doesn't have that people you have to cast down these idols and i know as the voice of the holy spirit is in me that more and more of your idols are going to be cast down until you acknowledge the one true god we are in the last days people i will say this to my last breath worship thy god only here in new york they've decided to put up this temple of Baal in times square i don't know if it's there yet but it's coming and it's been approved and um, actually i believe um, the last report i swore was that they have decided instead to uh put up the um the gates uh, of triumph or something of that sort which are simply the gates to hell so either way they are putting up something to acknowledge the dark one the enemy and I say to you people, you know, Times Square has a long, dark, evil history. And it is still such. They've, they've dressed it up with Disney and all of these other things, which is of hell anyway. But nonetheless, it is still a dark place. And the people, they gather there every year for that yearly ritual on New Year's. And there's all sorts of things going down there that um you know are not of god our wickedness still just hidden better and the lord is coming to judgment just like he did on sodom and gomorrah here in new york city i believe we are indeed the sodom and gomorrah of this generation of this time so people please hear what I am, I am telling you, it is time to cast down those idols or you will die with them. And the seven days have not passed yet. I, I made that prediction on April 30th. I am led in my spirit to believe that more will fall. More will fall in the coming weeks. More will fall. Your idols are falling. And soon you will have no choice but to worship the Most High. But it may be too late. 
Yeshua, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to see the peoples whose hearts are in quandary, who, who have not crossed to the good side or the bad side. They, they sit on the fence because they don't know you, Lord. They don't believe that you exist, Lord. They're, they're seeking answers. Help them to see you and you alone. Let them know that in the end times, their idols will not save them. Beyonce will not save you. Jay-Z will not save you. Drake will not save you. Lil Wayne will not save you. Nikki will not save you. Only the Most High can save you. And I ask in Jesus' name that you will worship the Lord and the Lord alone before the judgment comes. It is near. I pray, I beg, in the mighty name of Jehovah, Yeshua, Christ the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm.